Uh, is that the Pentagon? Uh, McWinney? Uh, hi, Mac. Hi, Ward here. How's every little thing, Mac? Oh, uh, good, good. Uh, say, look, Mac, now, now, now we understand what you're trying to do in Vietnam, and, and we're trying awfully hard to see your side of it in this Dominican business. But really, Mac, um, what are those paratroops doing in Quebec City? <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 they made it okay. Uh, according to this, they're scaling the cliffs at Wolf's Cove at this very moment. Mac, uh, what's going on? Uh, protect American tourists. From what, Mac? <laughs> Revolution? What revolution? Uh, uh, one second, Mac. Uh, uh, oh, hi, Mike. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Uh, I'm just on to McWinnie now. Look, uh, he seems to think there's some sort of revolution going on. I, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, Mac, look, I got the PM on the other line. Uh, he hasn't heard about any revolution either. Where? Oh, well, if they say so, I, I guess it must be right. Uh, he says he read it in Time magazine. <laughs> huh? Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I, uh, uh, Mac, look, look, there's been a little misunderstanding. Uh, th that, that's not a real revolution going on in Quebec. It's what we call a quiet revolution. <laughs> he says that's all right, they've sent in quiet Marines. <laughs> uh, Mac, look, uh, the quiet revolution, uh, it, it's just a matter of semantics. Uh, semantics, Mac. He says he doesn't care. Viet Cong, Path it Lao, semantics, to him they're all communists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, j just one second, Mac. Look, I agree, Mike, it's lousy timing. It'll nullify the whole effect of the tax cuts. But, but what can we do? No, no, Mike, we can't call out the army. They're on sea maneuvers. Sea maneuvers. Hellier and his damned integrated forces. Yeah, I, I suppose we could try the Mounties, but they, they all work for the CIA. Uh, just one second, Mike. No, no. Uh, Mac, Mac. No, 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 of course we're not upset, uh, Mac. The Prime Minister was just saying how grateful he is for the interest you're showing in our affairs. Uh, he just thinks it would be even nicer if you could give us a little shout before you pull off one of these uh, little... Uh, one second, Mac. Uh, uh, hello. Oh, hello, Jean. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, no, no. Uh, oh, sacre bleu. No. Uh, uh, no I'll, I'll, get, I'll get right on to them, Jean. Mac, Mac, I was just speaking to Premier Lesage. He says that your Marines have stormed the Citadel, they've cordoned off the whole of Lower Town, they've set up a PX in the lobby of the Chateau Frontenac, and what's more, they've stood René Levesque up against the ramparts before a firing squad and are about to shoot him. <laughs> Premier Lesage asks me to implore you, Mac, to beg you in the name of all you hold sacred to please get that PX out of the Chateau Frontenac. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. Oh, uh, another thing, he says, if the Marines are going to march around the city singing Halls of Montezuma, could they please do it in both French and English? <laughs> it's all taken care of, Jean. Uh, say, look, Mike, there's just one thing we haven't tried. Bluff. Shall I give it a whirl? Uh. McQuinney? Now listen, and listen good. We are a small nation. Compared to you, a very small nation. But we are a proud nation. We hold our independence dear. We have fought you before in order to preserve that independence, and we can do it again. If necessary, we will fight to the last gun, to the last bullet, to the last man, but we will not relinquish one drop of our national sovereignty. Is that clear? Good. Now then, how soon will those Marines be off Canadian soil? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As soon as Canada has a stable, responsible government capable of maintaining law and order. <laughs> okay, Matt. Mike, it's no use. They're here to stay. <laughs>